Hello fruit lovers, this is Ian here, Oda Mild Tropical Fruits and today I'm in uh, Bradenton, Florida and this is my little uh, seedling nursery it's where I keep the more sensitive plants I move them back over here from Mica so that they can do better in the winter get a better head start and this is my latest acquisition, this is a black sapote seedling not sure if I'm going to keep this because it is kind of cold sensitive and out in mica it's not gonna uh, well if I plant it amongst some other trees maybe it'll get some shelter anyway I thought I'd show you what's going on here some different things just a little update and say so this is the black sapote which is the uh, chocolate pudding fruit I did have one growing here before but it died so if it died here in the warmer Bradenton I don't know anyway over there just may seem a bit odd but I'm starting off some potatoes yep growing potatoes in there just because I'm going away I've got to put them somewhere they can sprout in there and then I'll put them in a bigger pot when I get back Next to the potatoes is a pink guava seedling. And it's a good job I label most of these things, otherwise I forget what they are. There's a couple I haven't labeled and of course, you know, memory getting old. Here, dragon fruit. Dragon fruit has been growing pretty well. It's grown, since I've had it, it's grown all that length. Uh, I don't know, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep dragon fruit. Oh, outside there is my little jackfruit. Um, quarantine, not quarantine, but like uh, triage area. Some of them, as you can see, the ones on the left got pretty hit hard by the frost, so I dug them up and brought them over here. The other one was in that... Uh, ceramic pot and of course the roots are pretty long roots so I'll put it in that bigger pot I'm probably going to be selling that but Jack, it's looking pretty nice it's looking pretty nice what else we got going on over here we got sugarcane we got this thing here I don't know I, I didn't label it but so it's some sort of um, gum tree there you go I just remembered what it was it was this massive gum tree up in St. Pete and I saw this seedling underneath and I put it in here and of course it looked like it was dead but now it's sprouting this one here is a Rangpur lime that was growing in the uh, it was growing in the staghorn this is sour this is sugar apple, I think. This is sugar apple. Down here we got some papayas. One papaya is sprouting already. I think that's a bit boring now. What is this thing? Oh no, look. Look at that. Somebody's freaking chewed, chewed that off. So that's not, whatever that is, that's not, that's not gonna grow, is it? It's not labeled anyway. Hmm. This is, what was that one? That was the cherry moya. So that one's uh, sugar apple. Sugar apples drop most of their leaves. The cherry moya keeps its leaves a lot more. Seems to be hardier than the sugar apple. So I'm probably gonna, I, don't know, I might, sell the sh might sell it all of them. Down here we got pomelo seedlings. Some little oak trees. Oh, what the heck is this one? It's not labelled. Great job, Ian. These ones, I can't remember what they are either. Hmm. This one's the Cuban oregano. Just loving it over here. These are very fleshy leaves. 
I've got another one which is tiny little oregano which you just pick them off and they're very spicy. You can eat them just, you know, out of uh, picking them off the bush. These ones, I don't really like them unless I put it in something like a spaghetti sauce. Because otherwise it's quite gelatinous. We've got some coffee beans doing nothing. Papayas haven't come up there. This is uh, Mexican sunflower, which looks, oh, I've got my finger over it. Let me try that again. Coffee's not doing anything. Papaya hasn't come up yet. Mexican sunflower looks terrible, but it will sprout all up. Uh, pineapple. Abiu, which I'll probably sell. Lemons. Passion fruit. Oh, I'm gonna have to get this passion fruit against something because this wants to go. This one wants to go, go, go. And I have some other passion fruits over there. I'm gonna have to separate them out. Down below, some little uh, catly guava. I'm not sure how they got in there. And what the hell's happened here? Must have watered it too vigorously. This is the peanut butter plant. Hasn't really grown a lot since I've had it. Oh, I don't know what's over there. A whole bunch of... Uh, some pomegranate. Oh, there's some... Actually got some... No, yeah, some pomegranates to come up. That's pretty good. What are these ones here? It's an orange. Rangpur lime. These are little catleys. Catley guavas go really slowly. Very, these are small catley guavas. These are like six months old and they haven't done it. You know, they're just very slow growing. This is dwarf Barbados cherry. <laughs> it's gonna take forever to be, be a Barbados cherry, I think. That's another jackfruit. Got some uh, miracle fruit over there. Oh yeah, over here. Mangoes, keep them separate. Cause I don't give them much water. I don't want much water. Oh yeah, sugar cane, miracle fruit. Uh, this one's a sapodilla, celis variety. Looks like it's doing okay, it's more sugar cane. I think these are peach. I need to label them before I forget again. Here's the mulberry. These are little longans. So they've got more weeds in here than longans. How many have we got? One, two. Three, four, five, five longans. More sugar cane. Uh, see, now if you saw the other video, we got the uh, Malabar chestnut. Malabar chestnut over there, there in Maca got hit heavy with the frost and all this died. This one here, it's like five degrees warmer here in Bradenton and uh, did fine. That is a Suriname cherry, a black one. Really nice, isn't it? It's growing up right. These are weeds growing in here. I don't know what was in there, but the weeds have taken over. Sugarcane, and then we're back over here with the cherry moya and the sugar apples. So. Let's go back over there, have a little look at our, end up with our black spot again. Okay, thanks a lot, bye.